Here I am in a taxi, squash beating two beauties from Armenia, almost a Kim Kardashian on my left, and Emma Watson look alike on my, um, oh sorry, on my left and Kim Kardashian on my right. What's her name? Satanic. Sat means black. Oh. Satanic. Okay, can I say that? Satanic? Satanic. <laughs> That's satanic. Yeah, satanic. I was thinking. Okay. Her name is Satanic, not Satanic. I've never heard that one before. Satanic. <laughs> This is Eich Miatsin, which means? The place where God showed with his finger. Oh, the place where God showed with his finger or pointed with his finger. This is where religion started in Armenia. This is the very first church. I've been corrected. So it's a complex of churches, four big churches. There's a big church there. The founder of religion in Armenia, Grigor Lasavorich, you can Google that. He was imprisoned by the king and he spent between 14 to 15 years in prison in a little place called Korvirap. Grigor Lasavorich started his first church here in 301 AD. That is the front of the main church. It's under renovations right now because it's very old, 301 AD. I feel very, very privileged to be here. Every Christian or those who really believe in the Lord and the Bible really have to come here because the feeling is completely different from how you feel from the newly built churches and newly built places of the Lord. The, this church is called Echmiatzin. Ech, oh, Echmiatzin, yes, okay. As I already told, its uh, direct translation is the place where God pointed by his hand. The first and, right. Christian church in the world. First Christian yeah, church in the and world. It was built on the ruins of the pagan temple of the main yeah. god of pagan times of Armenia. Oh, right. Ah, yes. okay. And this is the main church, but it's a church complex and a Christian complex. Yeah. And there is a library educational center and many other museum as well museum, yes, wow. and many other wow. buildings which are supporting yeah. the complex so, so this is more like the uh, mecca of christianity maybe yes yeah and All this right. is the you know um, the center of uh, christianity in armenia also oh, not right. only in the world wow Wow, in Armenia. And I've noticed they keep cutting the trees. Why are they cutting the trees? <laughs> when the spring comes, they cut the trees so they won't grow bigger. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh my God, the trees must be crying. Please, it's winter. I want to be dressed. <laughs> Let me keep my clothes on. <laughs> oh, there's water there. Is that fresh water? Oh, he's yes, going to drink. We call it these ones yeah. we have all over Armenia. Mm -hmm. And they are called pulpulak. Purpulak. Purpulak or Tsaitakpur. 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 Those things, you can have water all over the world, in Yerevan, in all over Armenia, and yeah. water is free. This symbolizes that the water is free. And usually, when somebody dies by accident mm -hmm. or the good person dies, we put the uh, Purpulak or Tsaitakpur for his yeah. memory or her memory. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Hachkar means? Hachkar. Yeah, so Hach means cross mm -hmm. and Kar means stone. So it's a cross stone. Mm. Ah, and that's the entrance to the complex. Yeah, this is the entrance. Yeah. It's like Mecca. It's There's so many churches and wow. And it's written here that yeah. the God is the love. Oh, God is love. Okay. And that building there in front of us? No, it's just administrational building. All right. So and that's the second entrance to this place. There are a few entrances to this. Okay. Them are actually main entrances. Yes. Yeah. And that one? What's that? What's that white building there? Cream white building. Uh, I don't actually really know, but it should be some administrational building. Also, there is a like a, um, how you call it? A school for priests. Definitely four crosses up there. Here is where the baptized children. 
There's a child already, I think, is waiting to be baptized, I think. There, that's where they baptize the child. sand and water here where the candles are burning. The reason why there's water is to collect the candle wax because once it's collected then they mix it and make candles again so it's like recycling because without the water the candle wax will just mix with the sun and then it will be useless. This way it can be used again and again and again. How oh, very interesting. I mean, the lovely, lovely uh, boss here. She looks very, very different from the outside. And everybody just lovely. Everybody just greeted me. And, you know, in their language, saying hi, because I only know one word, which is hi, Barevze. Yeah, that's my friend right here. Lucy. Name? Your name? Sarkis. Sarkis. How old are you, Sarkis? Sarkis is nine years old. He's traveling alone. Can you imagine that? A child, nine years old, traveling alone in the bus. No problem in the world. Cannot comprehend that. That's the driver there. He's concentrating on the road, so I'm not going to ask him any questions and disturb him. Barrier. This is like a burial city. Yes, this is what I was thinking. This is a burial <laughs> city look. It's like houses but without yeah. the roof because people are buried here. And what what you're looking at over there is not actually stones. That's the old uh, burial for people. There are still some people buried there. And look at the new one. It's a whole city here. This is burial city. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys you do things differently, 100%. All burial places with those big um, rocks, those are tombs. But now they do it differently. You get buried together, that's a husband and a wife, and this is their piece of burial ground, which means um, they are together for life. This is what it means when you say, we married for life. You go together, so they still have their own privacy, because you got this little entrance here. Then you go in there, and the husband is laid to rest on this side, and the wife on the other side. What can you say? This is like the movies, man. Hello. Even this one. So this must have been a single man then. Or the wife is alive. Oh, the wife is still alive. Okay. So he's waiting for her. Yes. Could be. You say, you can't hide from me. I'm waiting for you. you. You gotta come here. This is your home. Wow. Wow. Here they do it differently. I'm in love with the country already. If I don't come back home, that means Amaria has married me. Because it's such a wonderful place. Oh, this, uh, he, this one has got no photos, no pictures. Wow, this is privacy, look. It's privacy after death. So, what's written there? Is that um, husband and wife as well? Yes, yes. Petros, no, it's Arachelion, Petros, Gaspari, Petros, Abraham. I think it's father and son. Oh, father and son are resting here. So, this is like a family. It's like a, this is like a family burial ground, you know. So you have your house and then you have your own burial home. This is one is big. Oh, the wife is gone. I've, Lissy, she's waiting for him, you know. There's no escape. <laughs> yes. Because that stone, the gravestone there, is quite big. There's a space left for the, for the husband. Yes. Wow. Yeah, you gotta see this. You really have to see this.
That is massive. <laughs> yeah. Some of them are very, very big. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you in the next video.